and I'm back guys here on uh, twitch.tv and also on YouTube of course because you're watching this uh, after the, the event so let me check on the stream just one second let me refresh the stream mm -hmm. and it should be working up right now let me see let me see let me see let me see let me see. Let me see. Let us see what is going to happen. Okay, so we did a tactical withdrawal on the last episode here on um, on with this uh, motor general with Horde Murath of Deer, the Merciless. Um, and we have the forces on Onadrith and the forces on Outwork who are going to capture that city in one turn. And also moving this guy who is going to have a couple of reinforcements soon from Dolkodur, of course, because I'm still building up a couple of Orc Raiders and such. And this force is going to deal with this uh, guy right there. Uh, I'm also moving another force because there will be war against the Sylvan Elves. And since there will be war, I need to be fully aware that they don't have too much strength. They actually do have some stuff. Hmm. No problem. It's time for an end turn because we don't have anything else to do. Rohan is coming up probably with a ceasefire request. I'm just going to show you one thing, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm never tired of this. Make a demand. Let's let's demand. I don't know, 10k, and they will still consider it generous. That's the kind of exploits that you know. Just refrain yourselves from doing that too much. You know, one time at uh, at the um, your yeah, one time per campaign for me it's pretty much enough. Right, let's sack the settlement for more gold. I need more gold coins. Need more gold. My orcs like gold as much as they like human flesh. They kind of prefer, you know, Let us cow try flesh. Or and not war for a change. Really, you want a ceasefire now, Sylvan Elves? No, I don't want that. Very well. If you're going to wage war, well, you're going to wage war. You're going to die because of it. Well, at least make it, you know, at, at least show some commitment to it. Don't go like, oh, let's strike you down, and then, okay, uh, we take it back. Because <laughs> that's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're going like, oh, you don't have anyone here. Then suddenly, okay, I guess you have some old, so sorry. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when they do this. No, I don't need this guy. Ooh, ugly guy. Come on, dude. Let's decline. Let's decline. End of turn. Winning money. Settlement ready to upgrade. Let's certainly upgrade it. That's the first thing that I usually do. Dol Guldur build the drill square. So it can build a couple of nice dudes. I should build the archery range, honestly, here. Or even the Ballista Maker. Let's go with the Ballista Maker and then get the Ballista Maker. Why not? Wester's Gilead built the Drill Square, so I can build a lot of units here. Let's start up with some ladder tenors. Good. Now, castles, let's build some stuff up. Oh, I can upgrade some stuff. Let me check this one, these ones out. There's certainly a lot of stuff that I should. Moranon. Could build some troll breeders. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Actually, I wanted to go for Ballista Makers, but I think I have pretty... I have a lot of them going on. Uh, more Troll Breeders. More Boyers. This is an Orc Camp. It already is recruiting some, some of those, so maybe not. Maybe something more into money. Let me check. Galabrin, certainly not. Achnodion, Pellet Gear, no. Just checking if there's anything that I can build. Yeah, let's build some boar breeders, you know, just to increase their income. And a market. Let's go with a couple. When you have so much money, you can actually spend a little bit on that. Not going to spend any money on this turn in uh, units. Just going to check out if there are some buildings that I can do. Right, not really, not really, not really. Oh, hang on a second. I have captured this city, so I might have some stuff to delete. Yeah! Knight stables, I don't need those. Mining network, nice. 
I have a catapult maker. Oh, cool! I can oh, I can do catapults only. And a thieves guild. It's nice. So then it's gonna change. Let's go with the shrine. Edwards can't build. Let's go with the shrine of Malka here, and that's about what I needed. Uh, if I do have some units to build, it's here. Perfect. Some Uruks or some better uh, units. That's it. So this army keep moving over to Tree Beards Hill. This army keep moving over here. It's gonna merge up with this one. I should attack this guy right there. Let me keep moving this unit. Go into Moranon, that's it. You're also gonna go into Moranon, no problem. Minas Tirith and Minas Morgul, you should join up your forces. Minas Morgul still has a couple of forces going on. Alright. Right, right, right. Okay, so the forces from Aldborg should get away. Honestly, the full force, because I have some units here that can fill the gap, especially these Orc volunteers. Yeah, and suddenly it's on low tax rate and it's going well. It's on green. Perfect stuff. Right, so over here the army will be pretty much the same thing. Let me leave a couple of smaller forces. That's it. Emerge the rest. Perfect. Perfect stuff. So these guys should be able to move in against... what is this? Let's Rohan family member. Okay, two family members. If they have generals, I avoid them, usually. So let's go over here. This guy, let's go over here. And this guy, let's just join him over there. That's it. Pretty cool. That way Rohan actually sent an army over to Gineard, you know, and it's concentrating on Isengard. They should, Is because Isengard <laughs> still has... Yes, Isengard, ha Isengard has about the, um, the infantry that I would always like to use, you know, cheap and reliable. Five turns here for the Gondor uh, capital. Let me check with this spy what's going on near City Yawr. It's... It's gonna die, certainly. This chieftain of Dun Dunland has enough units to take it. And what else? What else can I do? Move this. Moria, it's gonna take two turns. Then the elves are gonna be no more. That's nice. That's one less uh, unit. Or one less army. One less army to go away. Right, let me see. Cannot do anything else in terms of buildings. Edras is fine here. Oh, I can build actually these ballistas. That's nice. They're better ballistas than the other ones, but yeah, for now I don't need to do, to concentrate too much on ballistas. Not something that I, you need with these armies, honestly. Alright, so let's do this battle. They're gonna flee, and now they are going to meet me in battle. What can I recruit awesome spiders? I would love those spiders. Let me just go over there. Captain Haldir! Oh, he's only a captain. Am I seeing right? Only spearmen and stalkers? Oh boy. Uh, the stalkers 614. As you can see, you know, kind of consider this. 614, right? Alright, that's, that's nice. But then you see, okay, so that's comparable to these orc maulers. Yeah, but they have effective against armor, and they are recruited really fast. You know, you have to spend a lot of money to even get these units as, or these sort of units, and you won't get an upgrade for them as Mordor. Those are basic units for the Sylvan Elves. That's what makes them so OP. Their basic units are really cool and really, uh, uh, really reliable, especially all with good morale and stuff. It's awesome. Alright, let's fight the battle on the battle map. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on! Man, she's pretty, isn't she? Even with that scar. <laughs> Even with that scar. Some people, you know, everyone talks about Gandalf and other characters. No one talks about her, and she did a pretty, pretty good job with, with the role, you know. Which is a, a little bit, you know, annoying. Like, I was on Lord of the Rings, really? Who were you? Did you remember? <laughs> Alright, let me see here. 
here. Let's have, as usual, I like to have the little craters on the middle of the line. The order that you select them makes them be from left to right as you select shift 1 for the grouping, you know. Some people don't don't know that. Right, I actually want one mountain troll here and the Olakai here. Look at these babies. Look at these babies. Look at that. Now oh, that's a terrifying dude. <laughs> it's not just mountain trolls. They are so heavily armored. Come on. Right, and you're gonna be here. Now, there, uh, since I have some archers and they don't have archers, you know, elven armies. We on the other um, on the other battle there was a Rohan army with almost no cavalry. Now I have an elven army with almost no uh, archers. It's, everything is breaking apart. Now I prefer to have on this circumstance. I kind of prefer to have my archers a little bit ahead. But not too much because these are elves. So I'm actually going to make my uh, units come over here. The general is going to oversee everything. And the trolls, you're going to go here, and the Olakai are going to go here. That's it. And everyone runs away. These guys are moving in. Oh boy, they got blocked by that. <laughs> They got blocked by here. By this stone. Look at that. That's actually the block that they have. I cannot tell them to move because those guys are blocked by that. Ah, it's so annoying when, they do, when this happens. Can I set them to loose or anything? No, I can't even command them actually. They are not under my command yet. Alright, let's just send you here. What's going on with the battle? So far he's dividing. I gotta be careful with sending uh, the trolls against the stalkers because even though they're light infantry they have axes. Any unit that has axes will give a damage, a certain damage against them. That's some nice shields. I've always loved these guys shields. Right, let's see the charge. Oh boy, that was a couple of them dead. But still, most of them are dead right now. Same thing here with these Mirkwood Stalkers. Yes, we will. The Orc Maulers are hanging them on. Or off, let's say. Come on. You can see the Arch of Fire, which is going against these Mirkwood Spearmen right now. Yeah, they want to do the same thing. I can just stay back and watch them die. They're never going to engage my trolls. If they do, they're going to lose. I'm actually going to engage with my trolls right away. Come on! Is the stream stopped? Has the stream stopped? For some reason, I haven't checked it out. Let me check it, because so far everything seems cool on my end. Let me check it. Just restart the stream here for myself. Hang on. Sometimes I think the, the stream doesn't actually properly crash or anything, but it does stop uh, on my end. Alright, so what's going on here? Only archers firing. That's good. My trolls will pursue these guys to the bitter end. These are trying to attack. Liquid spearmen, no problem. Let's charge those spearmen, or actually these spearmen. Now let's charge those, because they will get him. Alright. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's go for it. Hey, spearmen. Kill them all. So far they kill like 2% and nothing else. 2% and nothing else. Right, those spearmen are also fleeing. Those are marching away, but let me send you the Olakai against you. And these guys, huh, I guess they will take part in the battle. Let's go for it. So my archers are still shooting those. 
let's see my Olak High crashing on their backs. That's it. Oh, let's decrease the speed. Spearman against Olak High. Kick him. That's it. That's just a scary sight for any elf. <laughs> Now the raiders will attack them from behind, and that's the deal. Immediately running away. Right, so how is my other unit of trolls? Everything is fine. These guys are still attacking, those are my good spearmen, so I can just go faster and everything will die. Yeah. Look at the amount of dead. That's it. Continue the battle, of course. 2% men dead, and I almost lost nothing against an elven army like this. That was good. Alright. Hey, motor trolls, get these Mercury Spearmen. Or maybe not. Get those. You now, you can use these guys kind of like you use cavalry to pursue it, because they'll do, uh, you know, they'll do better than standard infantry, because standard infantry won't do anything. But still. Right, Mountain Trolls, killing, kill them all. That's it. And that will be it. These guys will flee and die. Exit the battle. Clear victory, Ugbag of Paratur against Captain Halberg. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice, yes. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, quite a view. That is quite a view, isn't it? Execute, yeah, execute them all. Why not? My retinue, I got some Sylvan Elves armor. That's cool. And let's get into Dolphin to it. You're gonna go over to Ross Cabo, and the other army is gonna go all immediately on to Steel Gale. Let me check what is this. Dolingva is only spiders. Right, I should capture it. Yep. I will have this army to go over there. And the siege, nice. Two turns. And this one hasn't moved, these guys have moved. So three armies that we have here. Right, this army is under construction. Should have some more oak maulers. They're always good. No here. Uruks, come on, let's go over to Moranon. This is a new army that is going to be on the Sylvan Elves front. Yeah, let me check how many turns were there for Gonda. Five turns before we eliminate Gonda. Let's go. Uh, for sure, one thing, I don't want to be on stream when Gonda gets killed. Uh, just because usually when a faction gets destroyed, it does cause a, a stream crash, for instance. So, well... Unless uh, unless it's the start of the stream, uh, I'll try to make it so so that it is on the start of streaming session, so that I can you know salvage the episode or anything like that. Uh, because you you do have to micromanage a little bit of the crash. Uh, the mod for those who don't know the mod, the mod is pretty reliable without anything else. You know, if I'm streaming and I'm you know I'm recording at the same time, so this is. Uh, something that hinders your your computer, of course. No, I don't want this guy. Right, losing money, I'm no longer the richest dude. But we'll get there, we'll get there. So, Sirith Ungul, I could get some trolls, or I can get... I can get nothing. What did Sirith Ungul build? That's exactly what I needed. We're gonna build some dirt roads. That's it. And recruitment minus more gold. Let's check it out. In a smorgle, what can I build in construction? Nothing. Alright, let's just save the money for now. Let's go over here, Minas Tirith. Hostility seas between the wildlings and Isengard. That's good. It's good. Hang on a second. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Do I have anything here to go? Orc archers, certainly. Need a couple of them. Get ready for fighting. You're gonna go here, and you're just gonna get everything away. This is the general. Yeah, that's the get general that I want. Fighting. So, without that dude. Where's the get other dude? 
Right. We'll wait. We'll wait. There's no need for that right away. Right. You, sir, you're going to move in. Moria will fall in one turn. Alright. This guy, let's... Let's besiege it. Yeah, I don't want to fight it out. Bother. Uh, not yet. Not yet. What is going on over here? Ooh. Okay, what do you need? You have one, two, three archers. Four archers. So no more four, no more archers, actually. We could use some strong forces, such as this Morenian guard and these orc raiders. Let's merge. And let's send some Uruk Harvards to you. Good. So these guys will besiege the Ornborg. I guess so. Besiege it. Actually, let's build up some rams. I promised you the siege of Ornborg, so I'm gonna do that one. And this time, of course, I do have uh, some armies to protect it. So this guy is gonna be here. And my gentleman. Let's see if you wanna fight, Sauron. Let's actually move it here so that he will retreat back. Oh, my stream hasn't been loading. Yep, let me see. Because I don't know if your guys are checking in with the comments or anything. Honestly, I should be using the dashboard. I'm so used to watching my stream as, as you guys watch it, you know, that I forget that I could use just the dashboard to, to watch it. But oh well. That'll be on the next. <laughs> I'll just open the dashboard. Right, one turn there. I don't want, know if I should move away from Dolphodur, honestly. Let's just build a Moranian guard here. Um, for now, this guy's fine. <gasps> I respect you. What I is this? Okay. I'm glad I moved this guy away because I'm going to move him back. What is this? Experience? Okay. These guys, this must be a... Is everything alright with this stream, guys? This must be a, a spawn stack or something. So, I'm gonna need that army. Then I'm gonna replenish with these guys, so no problem there. Yep, let me just... Oh, sorry about you, for you guys on YouTube. Let me just make sure that the stream is uh, 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 functional. Alright, let me check it out. Everything fine with the stream? Let me see. Please let me know, guys. Because it could be my connection here, because it's not working too fine. But still, you know. Right, I'm besieging here, there's one turn for Moria, so we're gonna have that city as well. End up to turn. What is the proper link? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Suzevile, or, uh, you know, triple, you would double. Uh, Psy Storm. Hi there. I think that's a proper link here for my... Oh, the elves are gonna try to attack me here on Moria. Huh. It's the last attempt. Let's this ditch attempt. Captain is there. Oh, these are the guys who survived from that last battle. Alright. Let's tell them to meet their maker. Let's tell them to meet their maker. So far, how is the stream? Can you tell me? Are you watching it? Is everything alright? If not, I'll have to restart it. Oh boy, what is this? One lousy place for a battle. Oh boy. Look at that. Would you look at that? Now, I don't know how am I supposed to fight this. I don't know if I should be here and just go down. How can I go down there, honestly? If I... If I am here... 
how can I go down? I can't. So I run the risk that he will deploy here and not down there. And if he deploys down there, then it's a little bit... Sorry, Susan, for the mod. Problem? Alright. Oh, I can actually go down by this area. Okay, so I can pretty much start exactly where I am. No problem. I will still be able to move them away. Right, so... Uh, for the mod, link you provided looks to be for Medieval 2 Total War. Exactly. This is a, a mod for um, Medieval 2 Kingdoms. You need Medieval 2 uh, Total War, and then you need Kingdoms. As soon as you have those, if you have those, that game, then you can download the Third Age mod, and then you can download the sub mod of Moss, which is this one. All right, it's a it's a mod bit I inside a mod. Think Inception mod. <laughs> but can you still check the link because I have refreshed it uh, on my end, so I cannot check the link. I hope it's uh, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. The link explains you how to install Moss, so it also guides you to the links to install uh, Third Age, of course. Right, let's start a battle. There seems to be someone here which will bug out. Certainly. Yeah, it seems to be someone here. Okay, they will move and move and move. Twitch app broke and wouldn't let me comment. Ah, okay. I think Twitch, Twitch is actually having some problems as well. Because honestly, you know, it's something that is... Uh, what is the sub-mod called? It's a uh, MOSS. Uh, stands for Massive Overhaul uh, Sub-mod. Because it changes a lot of stuff. Honestly, for me, it's the best so far. It's the one that encompasses the biggest uh, ideas. The, all factions are pretty strong. Um, divide and Conquer is also very interesting because you, you get to trade a little bit more. You get to switch sides. You have some neutral factions there. You have a lot of factions, so um, it actually, for instance, it divides Motor, where uh, you have Motor and you have the Shadow of Merkut. You have a lot of more uh, stuff, but it's still kind of... I still consider it a little bit of a beta. I have a lot of problems with that. Um, so, for instance, if this was a battle on divide and, and conquer, pretty much it will bug out at the end, I'm pretty sure, because of the terrain, of how the terrain works. Alright, let's get to the battle, they are going to have to climb here, so let me just put it a little bit faster. Yeah, they're coming in, if they are not, they are coming down. Honestly, I think I should go down, it's, it's not like I can't do that. No, I would go over here, perhaps, and then go down. Maybe my archers would be able to hit them there. But still, maybe it's just better for me to position my archers here, down here. Can't we position? Thank you, sir. Let's position these guys over there. And let's position these guys behind. And these guys further behind. And these guys will just stay on the top of the hill. That's it. Now I want to make sure that everyone is going on the right place. Yes, they are. Right. Going for it. Let's just meet them in the battlefield. On the battlefield. Hmm. I'm not seeing my preview, honestly. Hmm. Need to reinstall this on my new PC. By the way, there is a way to install several mods on Kingdoms. I currently have, and I'm not kidding, I currently have the, the, the following ones installed. I have Europa Barbaran 2. I have Stalin Steel uh, 6.4. I have Third Age Moss. And I have Third Age Divide and Conquer. So, full mods and sub-mods that I have installed on just a single installation of Medieval 2. And they all, they're all compatible, there's no problems at all. Just make sure that you follow all the instructions that you see there. Pretty much a lot of hours in this game, man. 
It's really cool. Okay, so he's sending their f his forces in. So I'll have to stop my forces from moving. Uh, let's stop you guys. Let's gather you over here. Let's gather my archers here. Let's run, run. Let's move you guys here, perhaps to this flank. Yeah, that's it. And you guys are gonna go here. That feels better. And the Uruks, let's go over there. Everyone is running in, yet yeah, he's moving with a couple of Lorian Rangers. Uh, and my trolls, honestly, they, they will go on their backs and charge them. That's actually what I want to do with them. <laughs> okay, so as we are getting into position, he's hammering us down a little bit with those uh, archers. Mountain Blade, that's one game that I you know, I saw a lot of gameplay from it when it, when it uh, went uh, live, but I n it never really called me into attention, you know? Oh, those are Sina archers! That's his general problem. But still, I like the idea, you know, of making, you know, a first pers a person with a mix of, you know, strategy on it. Right, let's go with the War Creators and everyone else here. It's amazing how fast these guys are. Let's go against the Galadrim guards as well. Hey, Morenan guard. Let's just move against the Galadrim guards. Likewise, I'm going to send a couple of these guys because I want someone to get through to those archers. Those are the ones dealing the damage. These are will not flee, of course. This lot of infantry will, but so far this is what I want to show you. Hi there, dudes. They're attacking Sina archers and they have killed most of them. Look at that. Poor boys. I lost a couple, maybe one or two. Is everything all right with the stream? Because for me it's frozen already, and I don't want, don't want to, you know, alt tab while in the battle. Right, kill that general, guys. Kill the general, please. Get him. Right. Now there's some gallery marches here. These gallery marches are under attack. Let's attack here. Let's go. Hey, dudes. One trick that I like to use is to make them force move through this. You know. Uh, that will make them go into a better position. Usually it doesn't happen too much. Okay, my trolls are... are they getting the Sindar Archer? Come on, get him! That's his general! Kill him! Get him again! Steam is fine, dude. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I won't, you know, um, refresh my on my end because there's no point to do so right now. If the stream is fine, I'll, I'll take your word on it. Thank you. Because I can actually see the recording on my end. Odd bit of lag, but nothing going wrong. Okay. Usually on the lag, there's some times where it is this. You know, which seems like, which could seem a little bit of lag. But because of this, times six, see. But usually it's, you know, it's fine. I, th I believe actually. Not recording this on too much. Did he die already? No. He keeps getting up. Get the hell down. Play dead, dude. These are trolls. They won't know. What do they know if you're breeding or not? <laughs> I, I like how you hear the clagging of stuff, you know, and there's nothing going on. Come on, kill them. Right, where are some archers? These archers are firing. Those are dying. What else is here? See that? Oh, the enemy general has fallen. It's the guy? Yeah, it's the builder. Let's go times two. Right, let's hit those swordsmen. And now let's actually push these guys through the Galatim archers. In order to push them through, Right, those swordsmen are going fine. Trolls are gonna hit these guys, and now these guys will attack. Let's actually move one by one. 
the forces. That's it. Alright, let's strike these Galadrim archers from behind. It's on times two, so you're gonna see a little bit of lag. Not anymore. Times one. <laughs> That's what trolls do for you, dude. They just mix them up so much that the other units will come. Alright, let's go faster. Times six. Nothing to see here. Another general bites the dust. There's still some Lorian Rangers who want to fight amazingly. I don't know why, but they still want to fight. Come on! There's one dude there, there's another one dude here. There's another red dot there. And let's go against the Lorian Rangers right there. Let's see them. That's actually a really nice idea, Rechimi. I should do so. You know, that's really a nice idea. I do have a tablet, so if I have the tablet on, I can always check if the stream is live or not. Pretty nice. Thank you, man. It's much better. Because you, that's, that's the thing, you know, I'll always check my recording, uh, but I won't be watching the stream, of course. Because that's the thing. I'm not only recording and streaming, I'm actually checking out the stream as well. Right. And the battle. Yeah, that's a thank you, Red Jimmy. That's a really good idea. Usually, I have access to it. So, all right. So we got Moria on this battle. Uh, Moria is actually one of the cities that has the biggest income. I think it's because of the uh, not only its its size, because it has a lot of population, but also it has the mines pretty much already made. So let's execute them. Let's take Moria or not. I should take Moria. Well, as you've noticed, the Lorian Elves are dead. There's no more. Yeah, it's a good way. Thank you, thank you, dude. Alright. Rune here, Moria, come on. Did I capture Moria or do I have it again? Oh, are they gonna sell you out? Oh, thank you so much. Two battles because of this. Let's see what we do have against Moria. What? Okay. <laughs> Did you want to see a cave troll army? Well, cave trolls are not exactly trolls. You know, they're not the same. 40, 33, you might say, you might say that it's the same as modern trolls. They're a little bit weaker. I found them to be a little bit weaker. I think it's the hit points. They don't have as much. But they only have one, two range occluders and a couple of occluders, and then there's the cave trolls. So let's see what happens when cave trolls go against other trolls <laughs> and other armies. Oh boy, I was not expecting to lose this army this way, but still, you know, I'm not going to lose the, the battle. I'm pretty sure of it, but unless unless the terrain is really bad. Stay alert. Now there's the, the the place, right? So I need some higher ground. Let's position my men here. Let's take you away from there. Let's take you away from there. Let's position you guys here. That's it. Let's use my, you know, undepleted forces as single line. Dude, there's the cave trolls already. These guys can move in. Let's move you guys right back because they will move in. You know, and while you're going back, <laughs> I'll do. I'll do, dude. I'll add you on on um, on hots. Don't worry. Actually, yesterday I had a, one of the worst streaks I've ever had. You know, I had like five wins, and then I have five wins, and then I had like five losses. So I I went back where I. I was. <laughs> Shift one, let's go over here, I guess. That's it. I need a lot of, you know, oomph on this army. You know, a lot of staying power. Let's have one troll here, and let's have the other troll here. So, everyone, let's run. And the bodyguards, let's run. Hey, yo, Bulgarian! 
Right, so they still have these cave trolls. This is an army, by the way, if you're not watching Bulgarian, this is an army of cave trolls. Pretty much just cave trolls. They have one, two, they have like six units of cave trolls. <laughs> and that's the whole thing that they have, you know. The rest of it is just a couple of war looters. Even though they seem like a lot of them. It's not too much. But look at the amount. Let me go here. Look at the amount of trolls! I'm glad it's... If, if these guys were Olakai, then it would be toast. Then it would be really bad. Right, let's speed it up a little bit. My forces are in position. I hope. Yeah, I should get my archers, honestly, a little bit back. So that they have a little bit more... Not the range, but that they can hit them even when they are attacking me. Alright. So, this is the fight that you've been looking for, Regimi, but instead of... Um, of me having the army of trolls, let's see how an army of trolls can be defeated with anything else. They still have to, you know, deploy their units. But that's a... So many trolls! Look at that! Can you imagine if a unit of trolls looks like this? It's Troll Holiday! <laughs> it's Troll Holiday. It actually is! They all gather up here, you know, to celebrate, to drink wine and stuff, or to drink blood, or whatever they do. And they just got surprised. Yeah, even the elves would have problems. I guess this is what the elves brought in, you know? Dude, stop! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Come on! Just assemble here. Really, you just assemble. The worst part is that I actually have to kill the whole army. Because cave trolls will fight to the end. They won't retreat. So there's no more... I can't do that pathetic, you know, of uh, using these units to uh, to my advantage, you know, just making them rout and then come back and then get killed once more until they're all routing and no one is in the mil middle of the of the, this, the place. Alright, he seems to be attacking right away. It's no problem, I think pretty much every unit that I have can withstand a unit of trolls. It's just that if he strikes in the very middle, I'm gonna have to send my own trolls against them. Alright, so this unit of cave trolls is not gonna have too much uh, advantage against this. You know, I've never played an evil faction. You sh I should do that. You really should. Honestly, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Especially if you go with Isengard. Everyone says that Isengard is really cool. I agree. Isengard is really cool for you to play. Uh, I don't advise as the um, first one, but still. All right, Moran and God can hang on against cave trolls. It can. So there we go. Let's see what happens on these cave trolls. Honestly, I'm gonna send these mounted trolls. If I can control this uh, place, because he doesn't have any more trolls there, then perfect. Let's send the Moran and Guard as well here. And let's send some Orc Bands and Moran and Guard here against these other cave trolls. Honestly, let's send my, my mounted trolls as well. These mounted black Numenorians are perfect to get the Orc Looters. And you're gonna see them starting to fall. Eleven already there. Once they start to fall, you're gonna see that it's really fast. Right? Yeah, divide and conquer version is a large choice. If if you wanna check out an evil faction with divide and conquer some mod, uh, let me think a bit. Um, there's still no version for Rome Total for Rome Total War 2. For Moss. You know, there's still it doesn't exist yet. It's still under development. Uh, I was answering in Psystorm, there's still no no way for you to get them actually. Right, these are craters, I wonder if I should send them there or here. Let's go here. 
So you can see my trolls are still alive and his trolls are not. Look, four units. These orc bands are not fighting yet, so let's move them here. And let's move them here. These Numenorians, let's try and hit those cave trolls. As you're watching, cave trolls are actually dying really fast against mountain trolls. They die really fast against them. Remember when I told you that a Moranan guard is, you know, good against anything? Yeah, they're killing a unit of trolls. Pretty much soloing it, actually. These are doing some damage. There are some orc looters here. I'm going to lose this one because there's no way. Orc maulers can't do as much damage, especially against these orc looters. But right away, I can send some bands there. Let's let me send a couple of shots here. And my Uruk bodyguard should hit these cave trolls. Honestly, I don't think so. I think I should just attack over there. They're fighting to the death. Let me see, are there any trolls here? Just my trolls. See? Work like a charm. Work like a charm. These cave trolls are going to attack these old bands. Good for me. See there, Moran and Guard? against a cave troll army, a cave troll unit, no problem whatsoever. They can hang it out. Right, let's attack these cave trolls here. Let's send my Uruk bodyguard against the cave trolls as well. Let's send with the mountain trolls, of course, with the Moranian guards. They'll do the damage. Right here, that's where I gotta stop these guys. So, you guys just stop it. You don't need to go over there. Perhaps you can go and cut them off here. That's it. Perhaps that can be done. What is that? A one cave troll. No problem. No problem. Random guard will do the damage. The scrolls that uh, that you select, um, the scripts, I don't know if you installed boss or just the third age. Maybe. Uh, I don't know how to get this the scrolls, but it just came along pretty pretty for me. As you can see, there's the victory. I lost what? 70 of these guys? Against the unit of um, cave trolls. It looks the same. Yeah, the idea of it, of course, Psy Storm in terms of the the engine, but in terms of the looks of it, but still the engine is it's much more stable here, and it allows the modders to change, for instance, the map, which is something that on Rome it's almost impossible, if I'm not mistaken. That was something that everyone was asking for. Right, these guys are all flying, all fleeing away. Uh, let me just make sure that they are nothing. There is nothing else that I can do. These guys are fleeing. Right, these orc looters are getting killed. Let me get them. Let me check. As you can see, army of cave trolls. Did it do anything? I lost 27% of my men. Still the same thing. Still the same thing. Of course, the trolls are not. Uh, for instance, um, let me drop this. but no. Of course, the trolls are something like. They're a very good unit to disrupt enemy lines. They will do short work of any light infantry to kill it. Ooh, that's strange. That's really strange, Bulgarian. I think there might be something that triggers the the scripts if you're not getting them triggered. But oh well. Right, since I killed all of them, I can just send in everything like this. As soon as they start to run away, I have one. So, no problem. Let me actually just send them all in. Yep. Let me watch it. So I actually didn't lose too much. You know, and there's gonna be a lot of dudes who are going to survive. Mounted trolls, as you can see, I sent... Yeah, there's only moss for mo uh, Medieval 2 Total Warps, I saw. There is a, a work in progress on a mod for Rome Total War 2, but or for Rome 2 Total War, but it's still not reached any point at all. It's basically just a couple of units. So far, from, from what I've seen, an updates from a friend of mine who's following that, uh, from what I've seen, is still just in, in 
alpha development. There's nothing yet to, to watch. Right, and the battle. And I got Moria. Ha 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 ha. Alright. So, but of course, man, I would love if there was a third age mod on on Rome 2 Total War. That would be awesome. Moss is just for the this. So. Sack the settlement, certainly. And Moria is ours. And I got money again. This is what I call a sacking economy. You know, I always have money at the beginning, but I don't have that income. You know, I don't have that income. As soon as I... Uh, if you check the expenditure, is much more than the income, you know. You know, pro is if you don't count, you know, with uh, other and stuff like that, it's much better. Right, I don't want this. Join the invasion of Hornburg. I don't need that, because I'm going to capture it before. End of turn, richest faction, most advanced faction. Construction report, Baradur. Certainly build... Uh, what did it build? The Black Numenorians. Oh yeah, I should build the armor or the ballista maker or something like that. Maybe the armor. Let's give them better armor. Western Skilleth can recruit the Uruks. Right, let's go with the blacksmith. Onodrith. Nothing so fancy. We used to have a TV show based on this game. <laughs> I can't believe it. It was actually considered by many the best mod on several years in a row. That was amazing, actually. Right, as you can see, this army is approaching. These armies are approaching right there. We're going to have a lot of fights against Rohan, guys. This Rohan army is nothing. This one is. Now, this one is a stack army, so I'm going to have to attack it. And what I'm thinking is that I'm going to use all this money, because I'm going to lose so much of my army capacity on these battles against Rohan. Um, and I've lost a lot of, with this. So I'm thinking I'm going to use all my money from from this uh, turn for units. But for now, it's time for another break. It's been another hour. Uh, I'll usually do, you know, episodes of hours from now on. Okay, they captured City Tower here. This is three turns. Right, so I'm going to do a small break right away. And just... Oh, units. And just make a couple of units of producing. The check Dol Guldur, certainly, dude. I need more units there. And that's it. We'll check it a little bit more. War declared for, to Gondor for Harad. <laughs> that's interesting. Alright, guys. Just a small uh, break of about less minutes. Yeah, it's going to be two minutes right away. Uh, I'll pretty much continue it up. It's just so I can rec make the recording and stuff and check out the stream. Uh, is what can I see on it? So yeah, guys, thank you guys uh, on YouTube for watching this episode, and thank you guys on, on the stream for catching up with me. Okay, it's much better to be talking with you guys on the stream. It's actually you know so much more fun. <laughs> Cheers. See you in uh, about two minutes.